here is the NBA hang time pinball uh, so far. The black back glass is uh, pretty much complete. The scoreboard, shot clock, um, even the DMD board. Um, I'm still waiting for some speaker grills and stuff like that, but uh, it's pretty much uh, how it's going to look. Um, obviously, there's nothing in the play field yet. That's just empty. Um, I figured this would be better to start with this thing first since it has all the uh, electronics and stuff behind it. Let me show you how it works. Um, right now I have it set up on just a little test box. That way I can just, you know, I have five buttons that I can, you know, give it actions and see what it does. But uh, let me show you what it'll do. So if you, uh, is there a coin? You see it inserts the coin there. And then if you were to push the start button, this is what would happen. And then uh, this is when you get the ball. Alright, now as you can see, there, you've got the shot clock. Uh, I'm trying to focus in here. You've got a shot clock, you've got the home and away scoring, um, and also possession, and then uh, timeouts. Let me show you what happens here if you shoot. Like that. And you saw how it up the points in the home. Here would be like a three pointer. Um, and it's set up on random play, like you guys saw before. So I can, if I push three again and two again, it's different. So it's definitely coming along. I'm going to show you guys what happened when the shot clock ticks down while I'm talking here. Um, but yeah, I'm going to have to figure out a way to, like, so you can like, actually shoot baskets in this, which will give you two points and three points. Um, I've got a bunch of ideas for it. Um, it's really coming together quite well, and I'll, uh, later in this video here I'll show you the inside of it and all the components. But uh, here's what happens when the shot clock runs out. So it'll do that when the, if, you, if it was a game over. If you have if your shot clock runs out when you have the ball, and you still have a couple more periods left. Um, it would just go to the next period. So you have four periods, four balls plus timeout if for both scores are tied at the end. It obviously worked better as a two-player game, but uh, when you play the computer, I'd make it so you could um, you, the computer will like automatically score while you're scoring. Um, so it's kind of like a challenge. You have to kind of beat them, even though you're playing just a single player. But that's uh, that's it so far. So here is inside the hang time pinball. If you open it up here, we've got all the components. Power supply. Uh, the soundboard is down here. You can see it behind this mess. This will all get cleaned up when I uh, get everything working. Uh, the DMD board down there. The mega. Uh, it's not doing much now, but uh, once all the sensors and everything are plugged into it, it'll be used to its full capabilities. Uh, then the lighting board I just installed. This is nice. I made it so it all has disconnect, so you can, for example, you can just unplug it, so all the lights will be able to plug in and out. Um, there'll be more shift registers. When I'm done, I'll add, there'll actually be four per row, um, and more MOSFETs and transistors as well. Um, but it's all working through the I2C protocol, and it's all uh, working well like you guys saw in the video. Hope you enjoyed it.